Look how well this thing records. This is my first day, day one of my couch to 5k, couch to 5k attempt. This is my little personal vlog about going through the uh, couch to 5k program. I've got the app installed on my phone and hopefully it will work as promised. The uh, first day schedule is a five minute brisk walk. Then you jog for 60 seconds, then walk for, six, for 90 seconds, and you keep repeating the uh, 60 second jog, 90 second walk for, an addition, for a total of 20 minutes. So let's see how this thing works out. Okay, all well that finishes up my first couch to 5K day one workout. Who could have thought that one minute of jogging would be that long? I swear, I think they tack on a few extra seconds or their, their timer is off. Uh, basically, I was able to get about halfway through the the actual jogging part of it. I uh, did the first five minutes of warm-up at a brisk pace. Then I managed to complete four 60-second jogs with a 90-second walk in between each jogging session. And by the time my lungs were burning pretty bad and I just ran out of energy, so I was able to do a total of 15 minutes out of the workout, out of a total of 30 minutes. It is a five minute warm up walking period. Then you have 20 minutes of jogging for 60 seconds and walking for 90 seconds. And then you have a five minute cool down period afterwards. The little C to 5K free app I have on my Android phone works very well, even with the uh, phone in my holster on my hip the the volume was loud enough that I could actually hear it tell me when when to stop walking when to start jogging it has a little chime and it has settings where you can set it to chime vibrate beep so I think it's gonna work pretty well if I can motivate myself to stick with it uh, to get like give you a little bit of background where I started out I guess physically I haven't really done any continuous exercise daily since about October November of 2014 that's when up until that time I was walking three three and a quarter miles a day in in about 50 minutes so we were my walking pal and I were coming in at around 3.7 to 3.9 miles an hour each evening but at one point uh, I got sick with something then we were out of we weren't walking for about two weeks and then he pulled something in his ankle and he was out of walking for almost a month his, his uh, ankle and knee just never did want to seem to heal up too well and we just kind of got out of the habit and I got a new job at the same time so I was instead of getting off at 4 p.m. in the afternoon which gave me plenty of time to get to get to the walking track walk an hour then get home and take a shower I was getting off at 5 o'clock 6 o'clock sometimes 7 o'clock and it just was it was just too much of a hassle to try to go down there and walk and uh, not knowing what time I'm going to get off work and uh, basically we were having to walk in the dark around Christmas time and it was cold and rainy so we just kind of dropped the habit uh, I was able, able to maintain my weight loss without the walking I could do it just through exercise so you know, I was at a, I was happily sitting around 205 to 210 pounds, and you know, I didn't have to do anything anything extra. I didn't have to work any harder to maintain that weight. But now I've decided that I would like to get below 200 just to see if I can do it. Not necessarily that I feel like I'm going to look good there. If I need to be there, my uh, according to the insurance charts, my ideal body weight is about 185. Right now, I, I'm Everything except for my, my stomach and my chest is is pretty low fat. I mean, there's, you can actually see the muscle under the skin. And I think if I didn't have this apron of fat on my stomach and I had a plastic surgery, that I probably would be below 200 pounds right now. I'd probably be around 190 to 195. But I'm not having plastic surgery anytime soon. Don't plan on having it. 
So this is just a little goal of mine to see if I can get down below 200 because I haven't been below 200 since high school, which is 30 plus years ago now. Just to see if I can do it. Uh, I'm also doing this for my girlfriend. I now have a girlfriend for the first time in 10 plus years. Although I don't think, I asked her the other day, she said I couldn't call her my girlfriend yet. We've only been on five or six dates. So she said officially I could tell people I was seeing her, but I'm not, she's not my girlfriend yet. I'm working on that. So that's how it goes. And she's a very, 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 very A-type competitive person, and I am not. But I think she would like it if we could work out together, and I would like it if we could work out together. She's a, a big-time jogger and just participated in her first 5K marathon. And she was able to run approximately one mile and then walk the rest of the, of the pace. So I think if I was to work out with her, I could spend more time with her. Plus, I would I know that I would push her competitive spirit so that she would work out even harder and try to get up to, to being able to jog and complete 5K. So that's one of the other reasons why I'm taking on this little project. So I'm going to keep doing this every evening before I get off, before I leave work for the day. Uh, this is day one. We'll see how well it progresses. I managed to do 15 minutes out of 30 for the day. Unfortunately, I don't think this app keeps the history log because I'm not using the paid version. I'm using the free version, so I haven't found where there's a history setting on it yet that I can go back and see how much of the workout I completed. So I may just have to write this down in my notes and refer back to them to see how much progress I'm making. But I know that I'll be very happy if I can jog five of the one minute uh, time, time scripts, time sections. I would like to be able to jog tomorrow. Tomorrow I'd like to be able to jog five times instead of four times during the one minute running sessions. I'm, I guess I'll need to read up some more to find out exactly what the rate of progress is supposed to be. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of remember seeing where they don't, they did not expect you to complete the full run for the, the on the first day, but to just keep progressing. I may have to, I don't know, I was thinking about starting over, you know, or keeping, staying on day one until, until I actually was able to jog the full 20 minutes or jogged all the uh, one minute sections in the 20 minutes. I don't know. I'll let me do some reading up tonight and I will find out. So, this is Joe Saint signing out from VSG land and keep pimping that sleeve.